Do you know that recorded meetings in Microsoft Teams have expiration date? Learn how to manage how long that kind of videos will be stored. There is a chance that you used to do the fact that the videos that are recordings from Microsoft Teams meetings are stored forever in the Microsoft Stream. You need to know that this is the setup that changed in the Office 365 and right now all videos are stored on SharePoint or on OneDrive plus all videos has assigned expiration date so after some time they will be deleted. In this video I will show you how to maintain this setup and how to update it globally or for the specific video. If you will like this video please leave the thumbs up, if you want to get the notifications about the new videos please subscribe. First thing you need to do is to go to the Microsoft 365 admin center and then go to Microsoft Teams. In the Microsoft Teams admin center you can set up the policies for the meetings in Microsoft Teams. Of course remember that you can set up global policies or different policies for the part of the organization but in general level if you will go to the org wide policies there is a policy that applies to how long the videos that are producted based on the recordings of the meetings will be stored in SharePoint or OneDrive. By design this is 120 days and this is the expiration date that will be set up automatically for the every video that will be produced as a recording from the meeting. Of course you can apply different setup in here, you can set it up here quite a long time how long these videos will be stored by my recommendation is to limit that time to be sure that huge number of recorded meetings will not consume all of your storage in the Office 365 and then apply this policy for your organization. Of course, you can also manage that time for the very specific recorded meeting in OneDrive or in SharePoint. In case of the recorded meetings that are organized on the team and channel level, all that kind of recordings are stored in SharePoint. Moreover, you have additional node information about the expiration time for this video and if you will navigate there, you are navigated to the very specific SharePoint site and to the very specific document library and the folder with the recordings from the channel. In this case, you have the possibility to set up how long this recorded meeting should be stored or remove the expiration at all and permanently leave that kind of recording on SharePoint. In the case where you're organizing ad hoc calls or meetings through Office Calendar, same policy is applied and you will see very similar information. If you will navigate to the specific video, you will see that in this case video is stored on the personal OneDrive in the recordings folder and you have same possibility to set up the expiration time for this video. As you can see, in case of teams and channels, videos are stored in SharePoint. In case of ad hoc or calendar based meetings, videos are stored on the OneDrive of the person who clicked record that meeting. In both cases, you can set up the expiration date based on your expectation. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.